heard, eat this, but don't eat that. This is good for you. This isn't. Well, we're about to meet a dietitian who's busting those myths and showing us some superfoods for a healthier lifestyle. Please welcome dietitian Dawn Jackson Blattner. Hey, hello. Now, some of the stuff. Some of this stuff is sort of surprising. Walk us through well, it. Well, yeah, and I brought things that are just in your kitchen already that you can feel confident that you're eating healthy foods that are already there. And I, I have to say that some of these things I actually shy away from. So yeah, I'm surprised I'm here, here to say eat it. All right. Eat it. Mm -hmm. eat uh, it. So the first thing we're going to talk about that I brought here is fish. Okay. And there's some new research out that pregnant women and breastfeeding women should be eating about 12 ounces of fish. Uh, it's like brain food mm. for your baby. Oh, for a week? Oh, good question. Yes. Or is 12 it a ounces, day? 12 ounces a week. A week. Okay. And that, a lot of people don't know what that looks like. A deck of cards, so, you know, playing cards, mm -hmm. that's about four ounces. So you have three decks of cards of fish each week, and that's good brain so food. So is that enough for you? No. <laughs> he's, 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 even, yeah, he's so not smart. Even one he setting. eats so much fish. I was say. <laughs> okay, fine. Then maybe a little bit bigger for the 12 ounces a week. Now, what if we that? eat more than the allotted amount? 12 ounces is a really good rule of thumb for pregnant women okay. and breastfeeding women. Okay. You know, there's that whole kind of topic about mercury, and 12 ounces is really that amount that is good for you. You should eat it. You know, a variety of fish. But I, I was told, and, and maybe this is a myth, but I, I, it was tuna, mm -hmm. salmon, and, and what was, there was a third one. But I you thought. Can, swordfish, you should not. No, oh, swordfish, you, you stay away okay. from. Stay away from so that. here's all the myths. Yes. I will tell you. Clear enough. Tuna and salmon, very high in omega-3 fats, which is very good for and you. And sardines you want too, those. right? Oh yes, sardines. Ooh. You want those fish. I love sardines. <laughs> they stink. I'm so Italian. I'm so Italian. <laughs> they do. You want those. And the ones you don't want to eat so much of if you're pregnant or breastfeeding are those jumbo fish like shark or swordfish or okay. tile fish. The, the bigger the the fish, the more mercury, the more mercury it has. And yeah. albacore tuna is yeah. also the big it's, fish. It's a pretty big fish. So, yeah, when you're getting tuna, it's more of the flake white tuna. Okay, okay right, now. So nuts and beer. Yeah. So, I've already been drinking this know, already I this morning. Yeah. I was wondering. Yeah. You were yeah. just slurring the yeah. words a little bit there. I know. Um, Bell, be healthy. See, drink right. beer. Yes. What this is going to do for you when you're drinking away that dark beer is oh. it's kind of like red wine. It's very protective of your heart. So, the idea here is it's not just wine that you can feel good about, but beer. But how much? I mean, are you overdoing it? You yeah. know, women, it's about 12 ounces. A one 12 ounce bottle um, a day would be okay. And for men, they get 24 ounces. Per day? Per day, wow. yes. So and that's considered moderation. Is yeah. it only the dark beer? Dark beer does have more of those flavonoids, so it is a little bit healthier for you. It's 150 calories a glass. So now, this is I, a little warm. Easy is it does it. Is, that, is, it, is it better to drink I was warm clutching beer or something? it. I was clutching it uh, before I got here. here. Yeah. European no. style. Is right. he going to stop you from drinking it? No. No, no he's exactly. drinking it. Let's talk about All right, so it kind of goes together, right. right? You're drinking a little beer, eating a little nuts, and I hope you're counting those, Bill. Are you counting uh, them? I'm on number five. Oh, okay, yeah, I, maybe a little bit more. But the idea with counting your nuts uh, is that a one-ounce <laughs> serving. <laughs> Whoops, yeah. This is a family well, I know, show, I know, guys. I know. That always, it always gets you. With I think that, we have a seven-second delay. I should, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yep, beep. Um, so the idea is that's just a one-ounce serving. So for pistachios, if you're counting, 49 I'm is done. an ounce. And show us. These are what uh, the one-ounce so, servings yes, look like? Yes, so this is what it looks like. This is a walnuts. This is about 14 halves. Okay. But pistachios is 49. What are bad uh, nuts? And almonds. Uh, there are no bad nuts. No. There are bad, no bad nuts. You're right. <laughs> there are bad seeds, but no bad nuts. Uh -huh. no. Yeah, um, the way that you eat them, forget it. Bob, uh, Bill, Bob. No, Bill, I like Bob. that. Beer. Yeah, the beer. Yeah, what's the slurring? This is how he eats them, so he's but, over. Look at him. Well, I think Just I feel count that for him. when count. I throw them in faster, then I lose count, so no. then I don't no. feel as yeah. guilty. Yeah. Count away. It. That's your message for the day. Mm. Let's one move out. on to this, because okay. I love guacamole. I love salsa. Yes, these are great little sides that are miraculously good for you. This is salsa. It has tomato which are very rich in lycopene, prevents some types of cancers, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, colon cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer. Um, and about eight tablespoons a week okay. is what you're looking the for. The problem so is that you're shoveling this stuff into your mouth with a fried chip generally. Yeah, well, maybe mm -hmm. you could uh, double dip that same chip. I have uh, like mm -hmm. 11 chips and just get a lot of that salsa You can never have too many there. tomatoes, right? I mean, never too many eat tomatoes. Eat yeah. as much so, as So, yeah, want. double dip, eat this at least this about This is where I get into trouble. I love guacamole. Guacamole. Oh, yeah, so I avocado is very good for your heart. It has a very healthy, unsaturated fatty acid in there. Mm -hmm. That's going to protect you. Also, your joints. So, you know, if you're an avid exerciser, mm -hmm. it helps you uh, with yeah. kind of the joint pain. We have a nickname for this uh, where I grew up. It's mm -hmm. called green butter. 
Oh, mm. yeah. What a great so you idea. You put it on, you can put it on instead of butter. Yeah, and I love that. Instead of butter, instead of mayonnaise on your sandwich, this is going to be heart smart. And serving size-wise, about a fourth to a half of an avocado a day is but what that's you're enough, looking for. Because they're thick and they're saturated and it's just delicious. Just yeah, a good right. skin. Oh, let's too. go on to coffee. coffee okay. I oh, think I love coffee. the coffee. I love the coffee. 16 ounces of coffee a day. What we think this is going to help you with is mental alertness. I can tell you're very alert. So yeah. there you go. Wired, uh, memory, <laughs> you know, so you can remember people's names right. and whatnot. Yeah. Um, then also like maybe Parkinson's disease, diabetes. This is like a superpower, but about 16 ounces or now, so Now, does it dehydrate you? Because coffee, I thought dehydrated Slightly, you. Slightly, but it really is mostly water, so drink away. Let's okay, get to Real quick, guys. Yes, Ooh, coffee, okay. chocolate. We've got chocolate, chocolate and honey. Okay, Does chocolate. those go together or no? I should. Okay. It should. Uh, here's the idea. One ounce of chocolate, this is a perfect one ounce bar. Okay. And that is going to help your heart, and you want it about one ounce a day. Okay. And, honey? and honey, I'm looking into my crystal ball. Hmm. The next new superfood wow. is going to be honey. <laughs> Invest in honey. I, I feel like it is. Just not for kids and not for under the women. age of one. Particularly children, there is a spore in here that might be unsafe. But adults can do okay with honey. Okay. Just thank, children under thank one. You so thank you so much for coming on. Country. For more I'm information on these and other superfoods, go to iVillage.com and click on In the Loop.